Hello, Justin speaking from Bricklight. Welcome. If you haven't subscribed, please do. We're on to the um, driveway now. This driveway, Brad will show you, is going right the way down to where Selwyn, our van, is parked down there. It's a tarmac driveway. We're taking all the driveway out and we are going to be putting in the driveway crate system um, and some decorative stone and weed membrane and path edges. We've got to take all this up first. So, follow us along. Drive's coming up now. We are underway. So what we did, lot, stage one was this, the patio. If you've seen the videos, it's all on there. So playlist, Titanic project, you can go back from the start and you can see everything. Uh, stage two was the one drive, drive sys paving, along with that side section where the mixer is there, stage two. This is stage three now. So this is gonna be uh, another driveway with um, crate system. So the crate system is that. So those are the crates that are gonna, gonna be going in the driveway where the boys are digging out now. So we've got to take all this out and I will show you where Brad is gonna take it right the way down the bottom of the garden where the van is. So we'll reverse down there now and then tip it in the section ready for Adrian. Show you what we've been doing on this here. So Brad, scope around there and just show him exactly what's happening here. We've worked our you know what's off on this one, haven't we, mate? Yeah. So all this drive section, all that's been dug out now. So if you remember, we got a, a grid system going on, grid system going on. We got hundred mil of scalpins. Adrian's been busy, our grab wagon driver. And if it wasn't for Adrian, we wouldn't be able to get none of this done. And he's been really good back and forth. So it's important you get good people working in and around you. So thanks, Adrian. Um, so showing the pile down there, look, Brad. So that's the pile we've got. There's 26 ton there ready to go in. Most of it's been dug out. How did we do it? So what we did, very, very quickly, we put dumpy level up on the steps up there that Brad is showing you. And then we took measurements all the way around with a dumpy level, all on this area to get it level to what's already there. And we managed to be able to get it all coming across where we want it all the depths are right and then this through here we had to have a client out this, af this afternoon because there was a couple of bits where we weren't too sure of how we were going to do it wasn't it brad there was a few options yeah so he's chosen his options now so it's always important that if you're unsure 
don't you make a decision let your client make the decision so there we are it's going along we get on the dumpers now and uh, crack on <laughs> So we're on another day. Don't ask, is it Friday today? Yeah. Friday today. Uh, so what we're going to do today is we've set up the old uh, the dumpy level. So that's set. Now what we're going to do, we're trying to get all this level right the way through. So all this has been set out meticulously level and lineable off each other. So when you pull up, come up the drive or you walk out, everything looks flat and it looks okay. So what we've done is we've got our point of level. So we put our staff on there and that's read 1 metre 918, that's from there. And then what we've done then is we've transferred our level from the dumpy level over to this tarmac spike. And Brad there has put a Sharpie mark on there, 1 metre 918. But we've also measured out, I don't know, can't remember what it was. Say it was 2.9 on there. Mm. We measured out 2.9 metres from that eco drain to the tarmac spike and is exactly the same measurement out there so what we can do now is we can get this string line and it's got to be pulled tight we can get that onto that line there well that line is perfectly level now so what we need to do our measurements are if you look at this here Brad manufacturers of these grids that we're putting in say that what we need to do is we got 100 mil going in of this MOT type 1 or you can use MOT type 3 if you want it more permeable but on these ground conditions and the stuff that Adrian gives us is really permeable stuff anyway Brad isn't it yeah so we're sticking with that so we've got 100 millimeters of MOT type 1 then we've got um, I think the weed membrane goes in somewhere I'll have to check I think the weed membrane goes in then then you've got 10, no, 10 mil of sand first, then your weed membrane goes on top. Then you've got the driveway grids, which are 35 mil. Then you've got, the client wants 30 mil above the grid of the decorative stone. So basically, the measurement between the top of this and the top of your MOT type one is 75 mil. So as long as we measure 75 mil down off that line, and we measure 75 mil down off here, we're right. And then what we've got going on over here, if you just, they're not going to run, Brad, don't worry. Mm. Gave up running 15 years ago. Come over here. So we've got this line here, look. So the boys have already put this line. Can you see that line there, Brad? So that line there is 75 millimetres lower than this. So between there and there, 75 mil. So all you got to do through here is put their scalpins with an MOT type 1 level to that line. And then what we'll do is once we've done that bit, We'll move the line over two metres and put it up again and we'll do that bit. And then when we get to the end of there, all that, where Brad is and Fraser is, all that will be level. So stay tuned and we'll show you as we go. Yeah, I'm just sat in Selwyn now doing some paperwork and uh, the lads are right in front of me so I can keep an eye on them. So that little thing we showed you at the top there where we were uh, putting our 75 million, I've left them to do that on their own. And I have left them a lot of the time to do lots of things here on their own because you can't expect people to, to learn things straight away and be as quick and as accurate and knowledgeable as people who've been doing it for over 30 years. But you know what? They've really stepped up on this job. It really, really pleased me. And uh, they've they've taken the bull by the horns and, and they've really gone for it. And Fraser, you know, has come really good on the digger because there's no, there's no better place to learn on the digger than it's in an open space. So there's no walls, there's nothing for him to hit. If he goes and it's the wrong button, um, he's not going to do anything wrong but my advice to you is and somebody's going to pick us up on it if you're using a dumper right um, get off it if you're loading somebody's loading the dumper up don't trust them 
uh, get off the dumper and let them load it. I've told Brad and I've told Fraser, but they're off and on, off and on. And in the end, they're like, oh, we're just staying on it now. We've got a system going where Brad will move himself. So if there's a slip move, then he's not gonna he's not gonna injure himself. But it's not ideal. But I suppose a lot of people bloody do it. But you shouldn't really be doing it. But anyway, we've built a road up there now as well. Put a, a little layer of scalpings down just to um, make sure that Brad's not having the ride of death going up and down there because his back and everything was being bounced around. So the road's nice and flat. So we got it all sorted. So they're doing a really, really good job. So proud of the lads. They're doing a good job. Right, good morning. It's 20 past seven. Nice, fresh and early. Lovely day. Have a little look at that. Got all the path edges laid out now. Pigeons at me as well there, look. So what we got going on, rather than mixing it up in the bell mixer, we um, we decided to get these guys. There we are. Say it again, we've had these before. Mix it in South Wales. If you want concrete, these are your guys. No trigger there for years. Brilliant lads. Just dump all that out onto there now. And then we can use the dumper and the digger to um, to shift it around and do what we want throughout the course of the day then. Yeah, nice and easy. Yeah, look, that's a 1.5 metre cube of concrete there. So I just looked at it and thought, hang on a minute, it's not enough. So I said, Trig, can you put another 0.5 out for us? Yeah, no problem at all. Sort that out for you now. So, you know, I know these tracks go up and down the country, but uh, these guys here, there they are, look. Mix it concrete, absolutely superb. Nothing's an issue. Whatever you want, they'll help you, they'll do it for you. And uh, and that's what you want, isn't it? So we put another 0.5 of a cube on there now. Hopefully we'll have enough. If not, we'll have to get them back, we'll have some more. Right, yeah, then we're underway. That's coming parallel, or square then, off that house now, that uh, path edging. Brad's gonna cut these now, because they're going round the curve. So, there we are, he's, uh, Expert this cut the man. Here's yesterday's work, to be honest. It's boiling like yesterday, 20 degrees. Fat middle aged, bloody unfit idiot clambering around in there. Wasn't good. So that's done. All that down there got done. And then there's a section that you probably can't see, but this section along here, that was done as well. And then today we've had the client out again which is great because we've now marked this line out. Um, so this section where Brad's disc cut was is straight because the other side over here is straight. We're coming 3.5 meters across. So that section through there was straight. But what I've done is I've played a little disguise on it to make it curved because it was going curved down here and then this section was straight and then this section here was curved. It just looked wrong. So again, we've pinched a little bit and added a little bit and made a curve out of it, so I think that'd look a lot better. So a little bit more relaxed today. We get these all cut now. We've got to cut these into three, these path edgings, and we'll get that all the way around into there. And then later on this afternoon, we've got this section to do in there. So yeah, all looking good, all coming together. Right, we've got a corner block down there. You can just see that holding onto the uh, path edging. And then we've got another corner block on there. Uh, and then what that's doing, <coughs> 
is what we got to do look so that line now was right the way across to here so we don't want our path edgings being higher than this line or lower than this line because everything's got to be lineable from left right the way across to right so if we get everything touching underneath that line now as we've already done with the topsoil if we get the path edgings touching that everything will be level from left from uh, lineable from left to right and then it'll it'll just look right you won't have anything up or down so that's our challenge for the day so we just move the line now like you do in brick lane we just move the line up uphill on that side and move it uphill behind Fraser there and just keep moving the line up as we go and just to check that we're lineable on it and then it should work out all right because we've got a curve set so there we are let's get on with it Right, just show you one now, so what we've been doing. So what I'm doing is you've got that blue line that we sprayed out. So I'm standing here, and as I'm laying this one, I'm eyeing in that blue line. So that's the one thing we're doing. And then the second one, if you come a lot closer, Brad, when we lay this, as I said to you, just want to show you how it's working. We've got that on a corner block down there. That on a corner block, got the line spread out. So all we're doing, look, chuck that in there like that, and then, as long as I lay this level to that, I know that, that this side is right. So that's done. Follow my blue line. And then just like laying a brick or a block, I'm just laying that until I get a fag paper, little gap underneath the line, and I know that I'm right. And that's it. That's all we're doing. This is what <laughs> this is what we got going on today. It's absolutely pouring down with a world famous Welsh rain. It's been torrential here this morning. So we're on the diggers and dumpers. So what we've done is we've put some pieces of batten up on Brad's. Uh, let me just show you. There we are. Look. You can see it clearly. We've put some batten on the front and uh, duct taped all that on, and then we've encased him with the uh, shrink wrap and then we've done the same with Frey because the, the, the rain is driving in so are we idiots or are we just trying to get on with the day's work I've told them about if they can't see through it it's all got to come off so seems to be working they've been up and down in it Brad's dry he's dry and Brad's wrapped up like a little parcel like a little present but would you want him as a present nah I don't think so but there we are, the things you got to do in the building industry to just get a day's work in. So we will crack on. It's actually working a bloody treat. They've been up and down there now for a fair while. Uh, Brad says he can see through it perfectly, no issue at all. It wouldn't pass any health and safety tests on a big site, but we ain't on a big site. We're on our site. The only hope I've got is he suffocates in there. I think if he suffocates in and I never see him again, then uh, I'll be happy. So, here we
so there we are that's the grid just put a grid in there roughly just to see how it works but we got that now coming around there we chop the path edging off in this bit here to get that as a continuation coming through which i think is a nice little touch brad laid in with fraser while i was uh taking young date into the hospital this morning so that goes all the way around there so what we're doing la is got like a semi-dry four and one sharp sand and cement mix and then we're just spotting out in front of him Fraser's going along and we got the slurry there slurry in the back of the uh the the paving Fraser's hitting him in and he's just putting them so you'll see it now look he's just putting them so this is level to the top of the path edge in and then the grass will come across here and you won't see we've made them we've laid loads of path edgings three haven't we there's bloody loads and loads and loads of them around here but hopefully once they go once it all goes in i'll show you how it's going to work now look if you just have a look at the back here you can see the path edging is lower than the actual paving so our grass will finish here and it'll overlap this and likewise all the way around so you won't see any of the path edging and then when we come up to this point the, the uh the decorative stone will do exactly the same thing it'll overlap this come to the top then you won't see this and that applies all the way around and all the way through so you won't see one path edging so there we are we'll uh, carry on Right, here we are then. Here's the team, Yian, Gwyn, and Bryn. That's the, uh, that's the thing we had this morning that you've seen Brad going up and down with. It's, I don't know what weight it is, but with Brad on there, it's probably quadruple the weight of what it show, what it is. But if we'd used our whacker plate on the driveway, then it probably would have killed the whacker plate because it's too big, and that just does a much better job. So I think Travis Perkins through Gap um, higher place quoted me 70 quid a week plus that so for 70 quid all that up there has been done a1 especially with that big uh, big lummock sat on it as well so there we are we're going home for the day so we're onto this manhole cover now uh, the manhole rather inspection chamber um, so what this was as you can see I'll show you this side it's too high right let me get down to the right level so this here is higher than the path edge in there, right? For the levels that we've brought in. So the, it, the chamber's too high, but the chamber's been built, um, actually the chamber's been built pretty well in the, in the right bricks. It's not English bond, but it's, at least it's double skin. But they've put corbelling on this. Look, corbelling is just overhanging bricks to make the, the, the manhole smaller to get the lid on. So what we're going to do now, we're not, we, we, I can build it in uh, corbelling, but old school, but what's the point? So we're going to take this off now, reduce the levels, but then this opening from left to right is going to become bigger because the corbelling is gone. So what we're going to do is going to buy two pre-stressed concrete lintels and put them across there. That'll take all the corbelling out of it and all the time that that takes. And then we can just put our new um, chamber cover on, which is over there just to the side of brad we can stick that on to the right levels so you're the man for the job brad mm. happy no i'm not doing this you're not happy I'm not doing what if i bribe you with a sausage roll no. pasty no cook breakfast ready finish oh see jesus christ normally i can bribe you with food and no. tell them what you digest it with my um, no, with my sausage, sausage roll that uh, our client bought for us well, you skived and didn't come in for the day. He left us three. There's only two of us here, so I had it. Oh, no, I didn't actually. I had Fraser's because you had Fraser's. I told you I was coming back about two o'clock. The client two bought us a... Two o'clock bloody good man. Day's he, gone by then, man. I had to go to the hospital with Dayton. Day's I came back then. at two o'clock, just after dinner, absolutely starving. Came back and the client said to us, there's a sausage roll up there for you. Oh, thank you very much. And then you said what? I had sausage roll. Yeah, you bloody ate my sausage roll, didn't you, you greedy pig? Did you right, they did. <laughs> when your sausage roll, it was my sausage roll. What I'll do now, right, is when you're bent over there, I'll kick you right up your jack, see? And you'll go down there head first, and uh, you'll be stuck with your legs hanging up in the air from there as a punishment for eating my sausage roll. So you'll leave me alone, then. 
well, I'll just put the cover back on top of you then and just ignore you. Good luck getting the cover of my ass on the way. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to we'll have to just kick you down there or something. Yeah. Well we've just been sat on break and a squirrel run from over there and he's gone woof straight down the manhole. And none of us have seen him come back out. So I'm working around by you and normally I'm thinking because I have seen rats come through and I hate rats. If there was a rat down there, I'd I'd literally pole vault that fence there. <laughs> And I run back up the Pont de Prith, well, okay, I might walk back up the Pont de Prith frame. And I might not pole vault over, I just run straight through the fence. But um, you've seen a squirrel go down here now, right? <laughs> we don't know where he's gone, he's gone. You think he's still down there because nobody's seen him back up. So I'm working away and I'm thinking, oh, there's a squirrel going <laughs> to come up and have me. Have you seen the um, squirrel in uh, National Lampoon, National Lampoon's make Christmas vacation with Chevy Chase way back in the late 80s where the squirrel's in the Christmas tree and they're all looking around and he pops out and whoom, he gets onto the guy's face and they're all running up the stairs and it's stuck to Chevy Chase's back and they're all running up the stairs. I've got a funny feeling that could be well what's happening here, Frey, couldn't it? Yeah. Do you think I could be attacked by a squirrel? I if so. I am attacked by a squirrel, we're trying to video it for you, but um, I don't know whether to put the lid on and, 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 and like um, know he's going to die or whether we leave it off. And I just don't know what to do. Leave him in the comments below. What would you do if you had a squirrel go down in your manhole? See what the comments come back at. Right, welcome to a really, really tired Monday morning. I am, I've had a busy weekend. I'm shattered. How are you, Brad? Yeah, tired. I'm shattered before the week's even begun, but... There we are. Anyway, this is the final bit of the video. We've done this now, so we've put all the curbs in. We've put all the uh, uh, drives to sit in. They're all the way around. Brad can uh, pan around and show you all that now. The, uh, the the manhole cover is in. All this has been whacked. So this is going to be part one of the video. Tune in for part two, where we actually put the driveway grids down and all the weed membrane down. We'll show you that in the next one. All this prep work is done. Hope you like it any comments even below please like and subscribe and uh, don't forget tune in part two on the next one